greetings and salutations from beautiful Greenville, North Carolina. Burr, 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 burr. Let me talk to you. Yeah, I've been watching way too much wrestling. Anyway, I've been picking up quite a few things from PacSun over the past few months, and I kind of want to style a few of those things to show you some of this heat that PacSun's been delivering lately. Now, typically, I'm not big on shopping fast fashion, though PacSun may be one of the few exceptions. A majority of the things that I've purchased from PacSun over the years, I've actually kept for a long time, which is very rare when it comes to those things. Now, I'm going to show you not only the pieces that I picked up, but this one's going to be really focused on the styling portion of it. So get locked in and let's get into it. Now the first piece is gonna be this little swirl sweater with this drop shoulder. I don't really remember the name of it on the website and I think it might actually be sold out, but if it isn't, I will put it down below in the comments. And this one's gonna feature a really nice drop shoulder design and also this really cool knitted in graphic, which is the thing that drew me to it. Now the cut is fantastic. It is a little shorter in the body though it is not exactly cropped. It does have a kind of a little bit of an extended sleeve and a nice kind of boxy fit throughout the body. So since it has this really gorgeous kind of aqua blue color with the black accents, I wanted to style it with some blue jeans. So I went with my Levi's Vintage Clothing Double Double Good Selvage 501 jeans. The one thing I like about these jeans is they are a little wider than your normal 501 and it has that cool paneling on the back as well as the embroidered pocket. So some real nice pops of color not only the light blue denim but also that pocket detailing now for a little color contrast i threw on my dr martin's adrian snaffle loafers and i was actually about to sell these but when i was putting this video together and kind of styling some things i thought they would actually look good with these and i was not wrong it actually inspired me to go ahead and keep them for the long haul now if you follow me over on instagram you know that i went through a little bit of a scarf era a few months ago and not that it's necessarily over it just doesn't feel quite as cool here as it did down in Miami but I did want to bring that back and threw on this vintage scarf I found at a thrift store down in West Palm Beach not that long ago now capping it off since it is a little chilly down here I threw on this old Oakenfort denim shearling jacket that I've held on to for the past several years it was honestly the perfect color to pair with the jeans they're a little bit different but just nice enough to give me that Canadian tuxedo effect now for the next piece it's gonna be this pack sun cropped fit graphic sweater now this sweater features some similar details from the last one that i showed off including the drop shoulder the slightly extended sleeve and a little bit of distressing at the bottom band now the thing that drew me in the most about this sweater was not only the color but also that crop fit if i'm being completely honest i'm not a huge fan of the graphic but i am going to show you a plain black one a little later on and i think the graphic actually gives it a little bit of pop or makes it stand out a little bit more i'm just not really big on like city name graphics and generic I don't know kind of I can't really describe it but I think you might know what I'm talking about if you're into clothes. Anyway, it's a very simple cotton knit. Nothing too crazy going on with this particular sweater other than that little bit of distressing and that lovely crop cut. So for styling, I went ahead and paired it with my Rick Owens wide leg Creech cargos in this dust color. I thought it was a really nice monochromatic look that still provided a little bit of contrast as well since the colors are not like perfectly matched. For the shoes, I went with my Rick Owens milk geo baskets. I've been wearing those pretty consistently for almost a year they're pretty dusted but I still love wearing them they've gotten to the point where they're actually very comfortable to wear also I thought that milk color would bounce nicely off of the graphic on the front of the sweater now I also threw on this kith and kango bucket hat which is featured in this really nice kind of wooly felty material I didn't really look at the materials tag I'm gonna assume it's either wool or like a wool blend or something along those lines but it is the absolute perfect alternative to wearing like a skull cap as I find Find this bucket cap to be very very warm when I wear it now the colors don't match up perfectly but I think it creates a really nice color profile on the body now for our next piece I want to showcase it's gonna be this playboy by PacSun button-up shirt which honestly what really got me about this because I'm not really big on the playboy thing at all whether it's PacSun making it or supreme or anybody else it's it's just like not my thing but this back graphic man it's so sick and I love the combination of like felt lettering and then kind of that chain stitching on the bottom they really snapped on this and I, I i 
saw this and I was like, yo, I gotta cop this. And I got it at a really good price. It was, it was like 25 bucks. Now it was not only the lettering that drew me in, but also the fit. It actually features a crop cut, which I've been all about. I say it all the time. I'm about five, seven, five, seven and a half. So shorter crop cuts work really well on my body type specifically. Also the fabric is exactly what I like in my button up shirts to something nice and flowy. Feels almost like a rayon type fabric. Then it has the white stitching accents throughout to kind of give it a little bit of pop. And the black isn't like a jet black, it's like a faded black, but not that tacky kind of, I don't know, gross faded out look. Just a really clean kind of faded black. I don't know, it's hard to describe, but I know a lot of you know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. For styling, we went with another pair of Rick Owens pants. You know, I wear Rick Owens pants all the time, so you're gonna hear that a bunch of times in this video. My apologies up front. But I went with the Rick Owens wide leg pusher pant, and I could not think of a better combination for this particular shirt. Now, these are more of that dark jet black, but they have a little bit of a sheen on it that I think goes very well with the faded black nature of the Playboy shirt. Of course, those press studs on the side add a little bit of edge, and that wide leg cut is the perfect kind of shape for this shirt. Now for the shoes, I went with the classic, the mainline Ramones. Of course, that white off-white toe box kind of added a nice little accent with the white pops in the shirt. I also like the profile of the shoe with the pants and the shirt. I just think it creates a really nice silhouette going all the way down. And last but not least, I had to reach for the hits and something I haven't worn in a very long time, but this Kenzo and H&M faux shirling leather jacket. Now it is real leather, but the shirling is fake as fuck, which I don't mind so much. It still looks really good with that really rich pink color. It just really adds a nice pop to the whole outfit and brings everything together. Now for our next piece, it's gonna be this PacSun Vintage Washed Hoodie. Now, this is a piece that I live in. I wear this a whole lot. Walking the dog, running errands, whatever it is, I'm throwing this on as a layering piece or as like my main jacket because the weather fluctuates here so much. Anyway, I talked about this in my last pickups video, but if you missed it, here's the TLDR of all the things that I like about it color, the drop shoulder, it has a little bit of a crop cut, and it has a really nice boxy fit to it. Now, if you know anything about me, you know I love boxy and kind of crop things, and that's exactly what this is. Now, for styling, I went with up top my Jill Sonder heavyweight tee. Just a really nice structured tee with a really simple graphic going across the front. I thought it really worked well together. There's not really much I could say about the shirt other than it's a white shirt that says Jill Sonder on the front. Weird flex, bro. Now I do love the kind of boxy oversized cut of the shirt in and of itself. And I do think it makes a really nice silhouette under the hoodie. For pants, I went with my women's Levi's baggy cargo pants. Something I talked about in my last pickups video as well. And I just love the shape and silhouette of these pants. And I think it really complements the boxy nature of the hoodie and the t-shirt together. Now, last but not least, I went with my Converse and Dark Star Turbo Dark square toe sneakers in this iron color, which really kind of comes off as more of a beige. So I thought it would be a nice combination for this particular look. Now, as you can see, you barely get a shot of the color of the shoes. Mostly what I was going for is that square toe in the front. So for our next piece, and I did mention it a little bit earlier, it's gonna be this PacSun black cropped sweater. Now this was gonna be very similar to the brown one I showed off earlier, but it does not have the distressing, but all the other features that I love about that sweater, including the drop shoulder and that crop cut here down at the bottom. I did mention when I talked about the brown one, the distressing on the waistband, but I didn't talk about how thick the waistband is, which I love. Now this was gonna have the same kind of boxy and crop fit that the brown one had, but this one doesn't have the graphic on the front, which I think would maybe make it stand out a little bit if it had just a little something on it. I don't have to say anything corny, just a little something on it. So for this one, I paired it with my Rick Owens Mastodon cargos. Like I mentioned in my Outfits of the Week video, I got these from the women's side of things, but they fit perfectly fine. Now I like the juxtaposition of the kind of boxy nature of the sweater with the slim skinny fit of the cargos. I also think it jizzes it up a little bit with all the details of the cargo. 
Owens. Now to bring it all home, I paired it with my Rick Owens Jumbo Geth Runners. Now I just think in general, the Geth Runners are a nice combo with the Mastodon pants, especially because the Mastodon pants have that really, really thick band at the bottom of it. So it just sits nicely on the top of the shoes. A very simple kind of calm fit, nothing too crazy going on. It's really all focused on shapes, if anything. Now, last but absolutely not least is this PacSun white waffle knit tee. Now, the reason why I'm not gonna hold this up is because the t-shirt is so bright, it actually washes my entire face out. So you're gonna see it in the B-roll. But the things I like about the shirt are similar to the things I like about pretty much all of these things. The drop shoulder, the boxy fit of it. That waffle knit construction actually is really nice, soft, and comfortable on the body. And it's just a really great basic. Now, the one thing that's not going on with this is a crop cut, which is fine. Everything doesn't have to show my waistline anyway. Now for styling, I paired this with these Subi Anti-Ks in this really sliced up kind of colorway wash, whatever it is. And my thinking with the styling is I actually thought it would really bring the outfit up a little bit and make it kind of edgy and really make it stand out. Now I also tossed on my Subi Balaclava, but I don't have the full mask pulled up. I kind of like it as sort of like a hood. Now, since it is a little chilly out there, I threw on my hair and Preston HP NY hoodie, which I talked about once again in that same pickups video. Now, I like the pairing of this with the t-shirt because the t-shirt is a little bit longer than what I would normally wear. So the hoodie itself is kind of cropped. So it kind of peeks out under the bottom, giving you a nice little silhouette to go with it. See how I'm avoiding saying that word proportions because I really hate saying it. I just feel like it's said a lot. So I'm gonna try something else. I'm gonna say silhouette. Now for the shoes, I went with my beloved Rick Owens Mega Bumper Geo Baskets in the black and white colorway for obvious reasons. I mean, it just blends really nicely and I actually think the pants fit really nicely over them so that's it that's the whole looks my friends what do you guys think what, what, you, what you think about the fits comment below and tell me what your favorite look is or maybe tell me how you would have done it a little bit different you know everybody's style and sensibilities are all kind of a little bit different so tell me what you're feeling now if you were digging this video man let let the algorithm know you fox with your boy man click that like button click that subscribe button you know all that motherfucking YouTube shit that people say click it click it click it click so we can continue to grow this channel you know let them know let them know you know what I'm saying? keep delivering you that fire content that you love anyway if you like this video you probably like one of the two on the screen and until next time peace